This is a repair of a 40 inch Sony TV and we had a recent power outage in our area and when the power came on uh, some customers TV had uh, broken and it didn't turn on. So the first thing I am doing is taking off the back. There's a little plastic and then taking off the back assembly. This is your components. You have your main power supply. You have your TCOM board and your main board right here. Since this TV is not turned on, you want to examine your power supply board. I'm measuring the voltage, just making sure that we're getting voltage here. We're getting 120 volts. So uh, I know I'm getting voltage and I'm just measuring around some, for some other voltages um, and I'm not reading any voltage there so there's some issue so we'll, we will be removing this power supply board to examine it so here's the power supply board I've taken it out I'm just flipping it over and having a quick look at the board and I noticed that there's a fuse right here that is blown so usually if a fuse is blown it means that there's some other issues there I have uh, my multimeter in continuity mode so you can hear it there. We're just testing the content contacts there. And there should be a beep, but there is no beep. So I know that this fuse is uh, blown. Let's find some other components here. I'm testing out the uh, diodes here. And I'm re reading half a volt on these ones. But this one I'm reading a short. And there's other diode as well that I'm reading a short. So there are quite a few components that are uh, destroyed because when the power came back on, it was a power surge. And that can destroy lots of components. So I did re, um, find a, these were issues. So I'm going to remove those um, diodes and replace them with some other power uh, shocky diodes there. So I'm just putting in my new diodes. But uh, I looked around and uh, I found even more issues. The diode here I also as well examined as... Uh, the board and I found a other surface mount diode that was broken and I found other transistors. So I decided just to go buy a new board. I went to tvparts.ca and ordered this part, put it in and it, and it worked. So there we go. You can see that the TV is turning on and it's uh, loading up there it was if this repair was uh, helpful please hit the like button and subscribe